Hi, everybody. Well, hey. Oh, heads are misaligned. Whoops. Uh, there we go. Oh. Uh, Hi, everybody. How's happy it going? Happy 420. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I don't partake. Anyway, uh, we're back with uh, AD&D. DOS AD&D. <clears throat> Where pool. did we leave off? Well, let's see. Uh, we cleared out the slums, and then we cleared out so-called keep uh, of undead and released the spirits of the people who died there. <clears throat> uh, what am I doing to celebrate 420? Uh, hanging out with all of you. Oui. I'm in a state where I can't get any, so I can't directly partake, but hey. <laughs> and I'm waiting till the weekend, because I got too many responsibilities during the week. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Specs, that's good. That's a good answer. <laughs> High fantasy. Uh, so yeah, we are now on our way deeper into the ruins of Old Flon, uh, to recover something one of the city councilors asked us to look for. Uh, but first we were going to try our luck against this set of trolls and giants that were back here in the, in what was left of the slums. Monsters are ta <coughs> tossing a sack of grain. When the sack breaks, they wail. Oh no, what can we throw now? One looks your way. I know. Combat. Oh yeah, these guys. They're kind of upsettingly furry. I don't like it. Yeah. And that did fuck all. As did that. No. Now let's see if any of these count as a person for the sake of whole person. Rumpy old man commentary on hacky sex in the 80s? What? What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, a little lost there, Specs. Possibly insulted? I don't know yet. Oops. Uh oh. Wait, I remember this happening last time. <laughs> yep. Oh no. But hey, since uh, the spell's oh. up. Oh. Oh. They're throwing a sack of grain. I get it. You may be okay. onto something. You know what? Fuck this fight. We're going to let them go. <laughs> we're just going to pour the fuck out of here. Yeah. Uh, we're going to move on to the next area. And we'll come back and deal with this group when I have a fireball. For a second, I thought you were going to say, we're going to move on to the next game now. I don't even have a next game. Just north of the entrance to the old rope guild. Just, you know, neat. That's fine. Uh, that's not the way I wanted to go. Nor is this. There it is. <clears throat> this brings us into the area known as Kuto's Well has been overrun. So we're gonna 
put a save here and begin looking around. You have to prize a party of kobolds. Perfect. <laughs> uh, take a look at what we're dealing with here. Oh. Ah, it's not too bad. Uh, it's still not too bad. You swept and you missed. They're just too clean. Eh, right here should work. Cast sleep. Manual targeting. Uh. Right here should do. Famous last word. Another sleep. Is why not? Huh? <laughs> That's pretty much all of them. Now it's just a matter of going up here and uh, ending them. Popping them. Is Edge in the way? Can you get past him? Uh, I just ran out of movement points, but I can go around oh. if I need to. Cobalt down. We'll pull specs out of the way, though. That'd be a slaughter. <laughs> oh, that's an impressive shot when you consider that. I mean, the kobold is asleep, so it's presumably lying down, right? They can fall asleep standing. <laughs> well, I can't. <laughs> Aim previous Dun dun Chop Dun Twenty-one experience. Woohoo! Yeah. So, what do we get? Money. They had two hundred and fifty-six copper and six silver, and some items. It's all worthless, I'm gonna guess, but. And we'll give these arrows to Grunt so that he may continue to shoot things and make them dead. So that he may continue to shoot things forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I found this neat little button that's called Join. Now all the arrows are in one thing. Oh! You see some bloodthirsty gnolls. That's a gnoll? <laughs> well, it's not a gnolf. Is it canole? Mm. Oh, they are large. 
Hmm. And yet you still miss. <laughs> uh, all right, I didn't recharge Edge's uh, spell. Oh yeah. Oopsie. Wow. There we go. One down. Ooh, he gets two skulls. He's so tall. Yeah. Wow. Uh, annual targeting of the sleep spell. We'll put it... Um, here. They have 10 hit points each. That's a waste of a stinking cloud. Couldn't even get it out there. A very short range cloud. that one you've got that one oh nice oh. oh uh I think he's out of movements movements Going oddly well, isn't it? Mm, curiously so. He surrendered. Hey. He surrendered. Oh, that wasn't many experience points. I guess probably they're not as tough as I kind of thought they were. Guess not, but I'll take the Electrum and the Gold. Feels like you missed so much since you were born after the Commodore Amiga Doskimer. In a way, yes, but also, like, there's nothing stopping you from, like, looking up the, the highly regarded classics and, like, grabbing them off uh, GOG. Uh, because a lot of these will do stand the test of time. Like this one, somehow. I get what you mean, though. Uh, if you don't have, like, a certain console or, like, a good enough computer at the time, or you just weren't interested in a genre, it's easy to miss out on stuff, and it's like, well, then what's good? Like, it's hard to tell because it's so old that nobody talks about it anymore. I guess that's true. It only has three hit points. <laughs> he has hollow Two bones. He has hollow bones. Thank <laughs> you. 
Cobalt, surrender, 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 surrenders. You've chosen wisely. You don't get to surrender. Nor you. You've chosen poorly. Okay, they give up. I got money. 256. Six. And bunch of crap. Now I'm overloaded. I think this room looks safe for a rest. Which really is just about getting the magic replenished. Yeah, Dan, Dan's uh, playthrough of Space Quest was really cool. I never actually got into Space Quest back in the day. But it did inspire me to do that Quest for Glory playthrough. Uh, Rest the day. Oh, interrupted. Well, well, unfortunately for them, we got our spells back. Oh, well, good. And we're all cranky because we were interrupted. <laughs> Every time this happens, we're like getting rid of one wandering group of monsters, right? Yeah. All right, got it. It's not all for naught. Yeah, this is before like really heavy random generation got into it. <laughs> Thanks for the host. Oh, thank you very much. And they surrendered again. And Edge just pops the sleeping one. And we're done. What we got here? Actually, you know what? Let's have Iggy detect and then none of the items are magic.
But money is money. And I like money. This is fine. <laughs> it gets rid of the wandering groups. I think we don't need to use sleep spell. At this point, I think our fighters are pretty much uh, invulnerable to damage. All the same, I'm gonna play it safe. Hopefully not hit us with this one. Could sleep for three. Nice. Render. Biggie takes no prisoners. <laughs> There's one down here that fell asleep, yep. We're gonna not take their items. Gnolls. Oh, goodness. I'm still a little afraid of how big they are, but I guess they're not that hard. It'd be worse. Uh, we're in stinking cloud range. Here are those two. I'm curious as to why they're green, though. Like, I guess some of them are kind of tinged green, but that was like later on, like first edition AD and D. They're just brown or gray. Maybe they're not feeling well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they won't after that stinking cloud. <laughs> Messed up after hearing that Linux copy plots are technically as GNU plus Linux, and I think GNU every time you say no. <laughs> good no. Good elf. Good noblin. Surrender. Eat him, zombie. Oh, you can't. <laughs> oh, I'm so close yet so far. He took one look at my stumpy little legs and he surrendered. Take the money. Hell yeah.
Okay, so that's that doorway clear. What's in here? We're being avoided by some gnolls. <laughs> the hell they learned. You're being avoided by some gnolls. Uh, let's parlay with them. Uh, hotly. Parley. You offended the gnolls. Oops. It's more gnolls than I was counting on. <laughs> <laughs> that one's like, ow! Oh no! No! I don't know what the hell happened there. You were too proud in your ways. Yeah, probably. <laughs> It'll be fine. Where's that one going? People need him. I'll swear. Edge! No one's gonna die from bleeding out except oh, maybe no. me. He's like, oh yeah, battle's over here, I forgot. <laughs> he fled in panic. Everyone give me a free hit of opportunity, please. Ooh. Oh I'm my the god. Best. You have one hit point? Oh my god. And they're running. Wow. Perfect. We won. I can't believe you fucking pulled that off. Yeah. Chase in trouble again. I think not. Jay is overloaded though. Oh. Jay's gonna drag all these unconscious people to a nice safe spot right over here. This old chestnut from earlier. We're gonna rest for, I don't know, a month. A month? I'm not kidding. Yeah, but like, couldn't you just like rest enough to restore spells, cure light wounds, rinse, repeat? This is fine. <laughs> We're glad we didn't have to think about rations. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Taking a vacation in game. Just sitting in this one square room behind an illusionary wall for like 30 days. Watching Iggy's wounds close. He's still not <laughs> fully healed. And then Specs is like, wait, I didn't memorize anything. Shit. <laughs>
And then Edge is like, wait, I didn't either. Fuck. And then he's like, I have spells. <laughs> Good enough. Alright, so we were going in this door. Hey, girl. Uh, hey, Grant. Uh, I can't magic missile. You don't uh, have magic missile. I cast arrow shaped missile. <laughs> That's valid and, and right. very correct. It is a missile. Oh. Lizardmen. Oh. Just straight oh. up lizardmen. Oh. They are the lizards. Hit them with a cone of cold, make them fall asleep. No. Noise again. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's the number sorter thing, the algorithm. <laughs> oh yeah, that reminds me. Did, uh, did you guys watch any of the, the Wobble Dog stream that Jerma did? Uh, a little bit of it. I missed it. It was amazing. It, it, I heard there's, Wobble Dogs is a good game. They're so wobbly. Yeah. He, he had a dog named Tipsy, and she had like six legs, but they were so long and spindly, and her body was so short that she couldn't stand up. Oh. <laughs> and he would have to drink french fries over for her to eat <laughs> to make her longer. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> now, without context, it's just great. Yeah. It's cute. It's like me, I drag french fries over. <laughs> to make you longer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My fetish now. Longness increase. And lengthening. Yeah. I mean, when you, you think about it, macro is kind of that. Yeah, it's increasing just uh, increasing lizards. on all three axes. More lizards. Yeah. Let's parlay with them. No parlay. No. Party with them. The old Unlimited Adventures game that uses this same engine. I'm not familiar with that. Uh, It's a 1990-something release. Uh, Kind of... It's, it's a bunch of campaigns and a campaign builder that kind of works oh, in this cool. style, but a little more modern. Also, hi, Kurota. Oh, wow. Those, those uh, lizard men get some hits in. They're you lizard? should make them stop doing that. Work yeah, on it. pour water on them. See what happens. <laughs> Put out warm rocks for them to lay on, see what happens. I shall make them sleep. Well, if you get them warm, they'll just get more active. I think you should make them cold and then they'll fall asleep faster. Oh, well, you freeze them. I mean, most things do, but you know, you don't have to get as cold if it's a lizard, right? That's true. I always wondered since they're cold blooded, does that mean they can, they're okay with the cold a bit more or? No, so what what that means is that they can't regulate their internal temperature. Uh. So their like surrounding the the surrounding temperature uh, dictates how active they can be. Okay. Like with mammals, you know, if you just like want to go for a run, your body can be like, okay, you, you need to warm up a bit, and now you need to cool off with like you yeah. know sweat and stuff. But a lizard just is. It, a lizard is only as active as like their surrounding temperature. That's why lizards like to lay on hot rocks and stuff. Okay. So it was like 200 degrees, the lizards are all running around like Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, I mean, you know, they cook eventually, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, still. <laughs> yeah, basically. For that brief moment, they're going real fast. Yeah. <laughs> for one shining moment. For one shining moment before their internal meats cook. <laughs> <laughs> before they turn into lizard jerky. We have uh. been surprised by gnolls. 
Oh no. I mean, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Let's try this again. There needs to be like an encounter where it's a null and a skeleton, and they're like, you've encountered null and void. And <laughs> null is the name of the skeleton, and void is the name of the null. Oh. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah, I know. It's supposed to be confusing. They're like a boss, and if you beat them, you get an item that's called void. Nolan, Void is my pride and joy. Oh no. Actually, yeah, that's the items you get from them. Pride and joy. <laughs> They're, uh, legendary weapons. Five percent chance on every shot to play that song, Pride and Joy. I forget who sings it, like ZZ Top. So, did, did I ever tell you guys about this catalog my family used to get when I was a kid that was like full of stupid shit like no. like gags and, and like magic tricks and, and, and garbage like that no well, the first time hearing about it uh, it was like uh, things you uh, didn't know existed and other things oh, you can't yeah, possibly my... live without yeah my mom gets those too well the reason I, I bring it up is um so back in the day uh pride and Joy were the names of two like cleaning products, like soaps or something. I don't even know if they still exist anymore. Yeah. And one of the one of the garbage things you could buy from this catalog is a little photo. Oh no, they're dying. Uh, a little photo of a bottle of Pride and a pot and a bottle of Joy next to each other. And, and the idea is you put it in your wallet and you you go up to somebody and you want and, and you say you want to see my Pride and Joy. Like, like, oh, talking like, you, like, you know, they're your around. kids, and so you open your wallet and you show them a it's picture like of It's like a dad joke, basically. Yeah, yeah, it's the stupidest thing. And it's like, it was always like a photo. I mean, the photo itself was like, it looked like it was taken in like the 70s. And they were mm -hmm. still selling this garbage, like, well into the 90s. That's awful. <laughs> and then they, uh, they sold, um, they sold these, uh, <laughs> They looked like lollipops, but they were like condoms. Oh, right. Um... Like, 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 like one for every day of the week, and they're different colors, and they're on sticks, you know. And it's like, and I, and I told my parents, I want those because I was a stupid kid, and I thought they were literally <laughs> lollipops. And, and we had to have a little talk about why that's not appropriate. <laughs> oh no! Even though that they gave you, they got the magazine for you to look through. It was yeah. for, for you to bring it up. I'd be like, well, mommy, daddy, why did you get me this magazine? You dumb mommy, ass. daddy, why? I love you, mommy, daddy, but you have to stop doing this. I don't know and what I remember, was doing there. I remember how awkward my parents sounded when they when they had to order this stuff for me that I begged for, because you they had to do it like over the phone. Oh no. And they're like, uh, hey, yeah, I'd I'd like to get uh, one of item uh, X eight thirty two dash B. And uh, one of X ninety three dash R. They're like, oh, you mean the super gooper fun deluxe play set, and also baby's first handgun training set. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit, I wonder if there's like archives like, of this. Words. Monsters from the surrounding buildings attack. I would love to just look through like an old like like an archive of it from like the things you didn't know existed magazine from like the late 90s or early 2000s just to be like hey i remember this one. Oh my god they still make them i know that's, that, that's why i said holy shit i didn't realize you meant like now i thought you meant like when you were a kid no i mean like i mean like i'm pretty sure one came in a couple months ago wow holy yeah. shit that's oh they my mostly god still, like bigfoot stuff now, which is really yeah funny. yeah that doesn't surprise me You could also get like uh knives and stuff, like hunting knives, World War II replica, memorabilia, coins, like that. It's like I'm pretty sure I knew this existed magazine, you're failing me. 
I remember one of them was straight up, it was like, oh, money soap, it's soap that smells like mint, but also inside of it there's money, it could be a random denomination, it's like- Oh, I remember that. And it was always just one dollar bills, they never put any actual money in those things. Just say, oh, there might be, because they legally can't say, oh, there definitely is. Oh, man, I, I found one from like the 50s, and it's like, it's the same shit. <laughs> Oh, like, same shit, different era, pretty much. Yeah, like, like I actually had an, a pair of X-ray specs because oh, they man. actually they like like I, you you could buy like a bag of gags and then was just like the random shit they couldn't sell on its own because it was so garbage, and it's just like <laughs> here you go, here's a bag of like ten different things, and it was like you know a whoopee cushion X-ray specs garbage here's like that. A bag that. of tetanus. You love it. <laughs> Metal shavings. So do it yourself, tetanus kid. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's a do-it-yourself tetanus test. It comes with a rusty metal spike, and you're just supposed to rub it on your leg, and it goes, if it hurts, you've got tetanus. Yay. Yay. I just oh remember, like, those old... They used to have, like, those old, like, my first nuclear fission kit thing, where it was, like... Oh, yeah! Used to, like, radioactive isotopes. Little cloud chamber, like, yeah. Do you want to recreate the demon core? Here you go. Like, oh, here's your screwdriver and the thing you need to operate. Screwdriver. <laughs> That's yeah, good. The demon core. Yeah, I know. You you know about the demon core. Oh, I know. Oh, I know about the demon core. I know about all those men Other who died that day. Know. Oh my God, those are centipedes. Yeah, it was like. They had to like stop everyone where they were and just like, okay, these people are going to die. It's like, oh, that's that's rough. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you fuck with radiation. You do not meddle in affairs you do not know. I, I, I just, I cannot believe this place has its own website with like new stuff. Like yeah. there's a, there's an I stand with Ukraine shirt right next to uh, a pair of underwear with three golf balls on it that says nice balls. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that's like, that's like straight up there with, you remember like, there was like that clip where it was like, it was during like the first few, like the first hours of the Ukraine thing where they're like, oh yeah, here's air raid sirens and it's like coverage on the news and then the next thing it goes to is a fucking Applebee's commercial with a guy twerking and a cowboy uh, hat. He's like, I love my family. <laughs> yeah. All of that crap. Yeah, that's like, that's like up there with that. It's just like, what a good time. Great timing. Good times, great oldies. I feel like the magazine would be the kind of place where you would basically get like the equivalent of like, you know like how there's fake, um, oh neat, uh, there's like fake consoles that you get like, oh you want to get the, the retro, the Super NES classic, like the little mini console or whatever, and then there's like yeah. the fake version where it's like, oh the the DES uh, entertainment value pack where it's like 501 it's just all those crappy like bootleg games on it they still sell those? yeah they do wow and let me tell you like how recently they've sold those um a couple of years ago when the S whenever the NES classic was out like I had like told my parents about it and they're like oh that's cool and then my mom was like hey I found one and it looks exactly like it like the box even says NES Classic on it, but then whenever you get it and you like, whenever you actually get it, like, it's like, oh, it's not that, it's Game Station 500, and it looks just like an NES, and you plug it in, it's just a bunch of bootleg games, and there's like different sections on it, like, it's all alphabetical, and there was one thing where it was called, like, a uh, Fantasy Fun Adventure, and it was literally just uh, the Tiny Toons uh, NES game. <laughs> Like you're playing as like Buster Bunny and stuff, and it's like, oh, that's, that's weird. And it had like Mario 9 on there, and it's like, oh yeah, this is definitely not legit. It's Granddad. Yeah, <laughs> it's much. Granddad. It was literally that, and it was like, oh no. I think we cleared most of this area out. Seems right. pretty benign. Have you found any other good uh, items in that magazine you're looking at? I'm actually looking for like old archives, but I can't seem to find anything. All I can find is the actual website, which is like Damn, it's all modern stuff. It's it's mostly just like ironic clothing. Oh yeah. 
basically like hot topic but for old people. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, the creature from the Black Lagoon action figure is on sale for zero dollars. Zero dollars offer, it's like free. A lizard man well, leads a pack of giant lizards on patrol before a door that has been nailed closed. Seeing you, the monsters attack. Oh, that's suspicious. Those are just lizard dogs. Oh, they're cute. They're from Satisfactory, but they're the wrong color. Those are some weird green wobble dogs. <laughs> they have 16 hit points. Ooh. Yep. Is that a lot of hit points? Yeah. I don't know. Kobolds are like, what, four? Something like that. <laughs> Try not to die. Gale puppies. Water dogs. I remember being in someone's stream whenever they were drawing like either a crocodile or an alligator and I called them like real puppies and they they went on on a rant. They're like, why do people do this? Why do people come up with such frivolous names for animals? <laughs> what? I was complimenting your your art, that's all dude, sorry. Frivolous names? Frivolous names for something like what? It's like why don't they call it the normal name, like an alligator, not a fucking, you know, not not a not a scaly, splashy puppy or whatever. I forget what exactly he said. I'm just oh, like, I was just complimenting you, but okay. I I didn't know people got upset over stuff like that. Crash well, you and your frivolity. <laughs> One person did, and I was just like, okay. <laughs> But honestly, it, it kind of makes sense given some of the stuff they draw. I'm not going to get into that on stream though because oh, okay. that might lead to some drama. <clears throat> I'll tell you guys about that later if you want. Because it's kind of interesting. <clears throat> no! Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. It, it was just edge. Oh. It's fine. I um, go up later. Well, he's only got three up points, yeah. so it's inevitable. Well, speaking of interesting, if you um want to play a neat roguelike game, I recommend Vampire Survivors. It's pretty fun. They keep updating it like crazy. Oh, I should. Yeah, I need to check that out again. I haven't played it in a while. They add new characters all the time. Characters. It's like, uh, it's, uh, it's sort of a roguelike, and it's sort of an anti-shmup. Yeah, well, you do get a character later on that's a shmup, pretty much. You blue and red balls. And not in the... Or sexual way. Oh, shit. A red ball the thing? Wayne's doing the 420 stream. What's he doing? It's, like, he's, it's the 420 stream, part two. What? What they're is it? Watching, they're gonna be watching Mario gets high. <laughs> it's, literally <laughs> just, it's literally just Mario Suzuki go weed with this song playing in the background. It's just like, I get high, I get high. It's just on loop. <laughs> he did it last year, and it was great. He's still doing it. No, he's just starting still. Oh. Mm. Alright, let's see what these guys are regarding. The door has been nailed shut, but you force it open. Yes. A wide eyed woman is seated on a rug at your entry. She stands greeting, Vold's ones. I have long awaited your coming. My time here is short, for the world enters a new age. An evil spirit from an unholy pool guides your enemies. It hides behind a fair countenance. Be not deceived. That the woman is gone. Mm. Is that the titular pool of radiance? Probably. Beneath oh. the rug, you find a compartment containing arms and armor. Do you wish to take them? Yes. Razor. Hey, you cast tech magic. Oh, it's all magic. Cool. Including magic bracers. 
That's it's kind of big. Uh, items. Okay, we'll trade the bracers over to Edge. So now he has armor. And uh, Specs got a magic quarter staff. And Grunt will get some. No, he won't. All right. Wow, Edge has an AC of two. <laughs> He'll need it with wow. that little bit of health. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's good for a mage. Uh, view. What are you carrying? Oh, a million short swords. Well, uh, let's get all these arrows in one stack. And... Drop this short sword and edge will give you the magic that no, was an edge it was specs give you the magic banded mail right you're still overloaded There we go. So your AC goes from seven to six. <laughs> oh no, to zero. You have an AC of zero. Oh, that's very good. That's excellent. Now we'll save. Wow, that that that's great. seems well and truly cleared out. There's a well here. Well, well, well. Rungs are set in the side of the well wall. Do you wish to climb down? Yes, you slowly climb down the slippery rungs. Just above the waterline, a secret door has been left ajar in the south wall of the well. Do you want to climb up the rungs? No, we just got here. <laughs> you just came down. Would you like to go up? Yes. You just came up. Would you like to go down? Yes. You just came down. Would you like to go up? <laughs> <laughs> Pass into the hidden catacomb. This large room is dimly lit by sputtering torches. Through the smoke, you see curtains hung to cover doorways. Some movement occurs in the room's far corner, and a volley of arrows tears into the group. The zombie cat is hit for two points of damage. Ow. Should have ducked. I'm already short enough. It shouldn't have hit me. That's not fair. I just realized you have like 24 health, Zombie has 13, Iggy has 32, I have 6. Yep. Why? What? <laughs> That's just Did how the do? dice work. Oh. And Why? when you train, your the hit points you gain are uh, randomized by dice as well. Whoa! Ah. Oh no. 
You are surrounded by the bandit band of the infamous Norris the Grey. You dare to invade my halls, he snarls, surrender or die. What do you do? I'm Todd Howard. I'm here to sell you Skyrim once again. <laughs> you will buy it and you will like it. He looks like the cup of soup guy, but with a smaller chin. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoa. It he looks like Hypnotoad from Futurama. Isn't that a hit reference? Whoa. He's right here in the front. I don't know how smart that is. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, he, he, he had to talk to you up close. So he interacted. Oh, take care of liking my, uh, my matriarch. See you, Rin. Have a good one. Uh -oh. No, I needed that. I mean, my friend. No, I mean, that. Look, look at this guy. It's uncanny. Oh. Hang on. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah, it, holy shit. It straight up just looks like a cup of soup guy. This is like a real commercial. It's just like something that was just made. <laughs> no, uh, no, it's 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 taking audio from like an old like Swedish soup commercial from the eighties. Oh, okay. I was and then like, and then making a weird animation that has nothing to do with it. Nice. We may lose this one. Well, it's okay. That's all right. I'll just reload. <laughs> oh, cool. Now we get to look at him again. It, it, you're looking forward to this, I see. Well, I I want I want to compare. It, there's no comparison needed. It's literally just that character, word for word. How do I go, Kapasu? Cup of soup, cup of soup. Okay, someone's gonna get hit by arrows because that's just how it be do. How it be do. I'm gonna get hit with an arrow and die instantly. Hey, you I were. called it. You called it. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well, there's no delay on that. I'm just like, I'm gonna get hit. Oh, it's funny as fuck. I don't remember that. Please. <laughs> Name the clip Grunt has a cat moment and yeah. <laughs> Grunt has a cat moment? What's that mean? Uh, well, hang on, it. Never mind, that's a spoiler. What oh. is a cat moment? You can't Jay, just... How far into Halo Reach have you gotten? Almost nowhere. Oh, then it's a spoiler. Okay. I've said nothing. Don't clip this part, clip the part where I didn't mention that. Anyway, how oh, do you reload or am I just alive now? I reloaded. Damn it. Well, I didn't reload. I went upstairs and uh, healed. Rested. Yeah. Because, uh. Okay. Well. We may, we may face Norris the, the, the Gray at the, any the moment. Crippet. There he is. He may appear. Wow. Oh. Him. Hello once again. You've come into my catacombs. <laughs> Prepare to hell. What a clip name. Well, it's accurate. Yeah. I 
I didn't mean to hit turn on dead. Fuck you. That one's going in my chair compiling. <laughs> Oh, I think there's only like three enemies a week right now. Good. Hitting T a lot by accident. I'm not sure why. Uh, muscle memory? What of though? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> sure got specs completely disabled over there though. Caught in his own fart cloud. <laughs> Damn, that's a stinky cat. Oh. <laughs> Frame perfect timing. <laughs> I mean, literally, like, in the clip, I was like, I'm gonna get hit and die. The second I said die, I was dead on the screen. <laughs> that's, so, that's so good. Just mid-conversation, just pff, arrow in the head. <laughs> I will say, though, I hate hearing my own voice. Jeez. Yeah. Eventually. I do sound a lot better though with this Blue Yeti microphone versus my old one. Oh god, red skeletons. That would have been a funny joke in the 1940s. <laughs> Wait, what? There was a comedian named Red Skelton. Oh. And they, they always made jokes about it in like Warner Brothers cartoons. Oh. Is that why there was this thing called the Red Skeleton? Uh, I don't I don't know where that came from. I'm just, I don't know. I, I, I don't know things. Well, I'm playing a game and there's skeletons and they're red and when you kill them they come back for a second time to get their asses whooped. Yeah, that's classic Red Skeleton. That was, that was one of his gags in the 40s. He would, he would, <laughs> he, he would kill himself and then like rise, rise again. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> In like I two just... seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you're so versed with these things from the 1940s. I didn't know you were. A... Yeah, I'm that old. Archaeologist. Yeah. <laughs> Archaeologist. Archaeologist. I just lost. I, I just watched a lot of Looney Tunes. I mean, you know, didn't everybody? I mean, that's fair. Yeah, I watched Looney Tunes too, but I also watched like reruns of the Flintstones. When I was a kid, the Flintstones would come on at 10 o'clock, and then the Jetsons at 10.30. And I would always gauge, like, what time to go to bed, because I would watch the Flintstones, and then I would go to bed, because the Jetsons were so boring, it put me to sleep. <laughs> you know, that's funny. I, 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 was, I was always the opposite. I hated the Flintstones for reasons I can't really explain. And I, I, I love the idea of the Jetsons, but then I actually watch it, and I'm like, oh, you're right, this is kind of garbage. Yeah. Hey. I liked both. The thing I didn't like was the Pebbles and Bam Bam show. Oh yeah, yeah when well, they were like no older. One, yeah. No one liked the weird kids stuff where but, it was like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna do like the Tom and Jerry kids show. The, oh the yeah, Muppet baby. That there was, was the, that the tiny versions of adult characters show time. Yeah, I do remember like they did a lot of Flintstone specials all leading up to where Pebbles and Bam Bam got married. Oh. Oh. That was unnecessary. And then I think they had an, another one after that where they had a kid. That's... what? 
This was in the mid nineties. Yeah, I, 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 I remember uh, on TNT, which I think is still a cable channel. Uh, they had they were they were hyping up a Johnny Quest original movie. Oh wow! Which was actually really good. Like they put it had a budget and it was really good. And then next year they did a sequel to that. And then a couple of years later, uh, the new adventures of Johnny Quest started on Cartoon Network using the movies as a jump off point. Hmm. Ah. That's pretty cool. I have, I have very fond memories of that first movie because uh, I guess it must have been like TNT because we didn't get Cartoon Network at the time. We'd just play it for like an entire day solid, like back to back to back to back. Just and repeating I, that movie over and over and, again? Yeah, and I have fond memories of like playing Super Metroid with that in the background. Oh, that's honestly kind of cool. <laughs> I have memories of watching Thomas the Tank Engine and eating like a spoon of peanut butter. <laughs> that's cute. It, it was always just the same old episode, it was like the narrator being like, and then the conductor said, Thomas, you're supposed to go over there. And he said, fuck you, I'm going off the rails. That's, that's every episode. And I'm just sitting there like, yeah, I love this. I love, the <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. I love my peanut butter. <laughs> I, love I love it. it. Mother, I love it. I, I, I can't do that voice that he does. That, but <laughs> he does exactly what I was like. I also had this ginormous Thomas the Tank Engine like toy that was like, it like rolled on its own. You had to put batteries in it. It had a little red light on the top of it and it would just kind of roll around. And then I also had like one of those like, uh, kind of 2D-ish container things that was shaped like Thomas that held like the entire cast as these little rolly rollable train car things. Little rolly and that was cool. Yeah, and like little rolly pulleys. You know, this battle seems kind of protracted. Look, they're running away into a corner. <laughs> but uh, what I was gonna say was, I have. And growing up, I never actually watched Thomas the Tank Engine, but I had like intrinsic knowledge of it somehow. <laughs> like I knew it was a thing, even though I never experienced it, and I don't know where I got that from. Probably from commercials. Could be. Well, since we're talking about other TV memories, uh, spe specifically of channels that weren't like known for doing cartoon stuff. I remember I used to watch Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog on the channel USA because at some point they got the episodes for whatever reason. That show went on multiple different channels, I remember. I don't I don't know exactly all of them, but I think at some point it was on the Disney channel as well as USA. So I loved that show. I never saw it at the time, but for some channel it was like playing reruns all the time. And I used to watch it when I was not a kid, but like maybe in my teens. They have it on Netflix. It's very out there, I want to say. And the other shows are arguably <laughs> better if you're looking for story. But if you just I didn't dumb I didn't care about story. I just wanted like wacky cartoon hijinks. Yeah, there if you want that, the show's perfect for it. Like pretty much every episode is great. We found something. Oh. <gasps> on the leader's <laughs> body. You find a note that you place in your journal as entry 50. An official looking notice. <clears throat> Assemble a group of at least 30 of your followers. Meet up with a hobgoblin at assault force at the small docks to the west of town. You and your group will be under the command of the hobgoblin leader. Follow his orders. Upon completion of the mission, you will be rewarded with food, treasure, and many slaves. Signed, the boss. Scribbled on the back of these orders is Norris the Grey's unsent reply. I will never follow the orders of a hobgoblin. I don't go on missions until I know exactly what we're supposed to do. And I don't go for missions on missions for an unknown amount of food, treasure, and slaves. I do go on missions where I am in command, where I know exactly what the target is, and where I know exactly how much I'll get paid. Don't send me another order unless you can meet my terms. Signed, Norris the Grey. <laughs> You have defeated the Dread Bandit gang and rid Flan of a great evil. The honest settlers will kill your deeds. You've also taken possession of a hideout in which you may rest undisturbed. This is mine now. Right. Now you get to throw arrows at people who come to assault you. Yeah. Well, I get to get Edge back from unconsciousness. 
<laughs> right. Everybody. <laughs> Jay hate the evil flan. No. <clears throat> uh, I will be back in a few minutes. Okay. I feel like there's a backstory to this evil flan that I wasn't here for. Uh, there isn't. The town is called oh. Flan. Is that? Oh. It all makes sense now. Okay, is there any, like, show or cartoon from your childhood that you prominently remember, but don't, like, can't find any proof of it existing. <laughs> oh, probably. I just have to think about it. Um, okay, well, that's that's what I meant. I don't have any, but I just wanted to ask if you did. I've had, like, times where, like, I'll get, like, two different shows blended up in my head and think about it and be like, oh, no, that was just this show, and I was watching it right after this show. Hmm. What did I watch as a kid? Uh, oh yeah, there, uh, there was a show on Nick Jr. way back when called The Noozles, uh, which was about a pair of magical koalas from another dimension. And the story got weirdly serious after all the setup episodes that were really cutesy and overly kid-friendly. I mean, it was always uh -huh. kid-friendly, but it got to, like, weird end-of-the-world stakes. Uh, oh. And for the longest time, I couldn't find anything about it. It, it was an anime import that, that we got back in, like, 80, 88, maybe 87. Yeah. You found the badge of treasure. Do you take it? Yes. You grab the loot. Well, that's like there was this animated movie I remember seeing like previews for, but I never actually saw the movie itself that a friend ended up like showing me like the whole thing of and it was like it wasn't like the edited American version. It was the straight up original like original cut of it that wasn't shown like on TV, but I forget the name of it. It was like something in Dreamland or something where it's like this kid who like starts off by like he dreams about being on his bed and it starts flying around and he's like over like his city and then there's like a circus in town and then he dreams like about that and he goes to this fantastical world of stuff and meets all these characters and it's like gets really serious near the end of it because there's like stakes and stuff where like people are like actually dying and then it's it's interesting i just don't remember the name of the movie now little nemo seeing, like little nemo yeah little nemo's adventures in dreamland that's what it was i remember the previews for it but I never actually saw the movie until like a couple of years ago when my friend showed me it and it was it was neat. I think the kid that played the main character was the same voice actor who played Littlefoot in the first Land Before Time movie. So that was cool. Because I think Possible. it was dubbed in around that same time. Let's check on Wayne. He's drawn Homer and Peter Griffin in Lederhosen smoking. Nice. And there's there's your status update on his. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to do that? Am I allowed to just be like, oh yeah, this? Oh, oh yeah, you this. can. It, it's just kind of weird because like here's our stream where we talk about this other stream. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not doing the whole thing on it. It's just. Oh yeah, no, it's fine. Go oh, hey. Yeah. Well, when when two things happen at the same time, you're gonna have people doing all sorts of stuff. And I mean, I'm playing a, a Dungeons and Dragons like game. I'm in a dungeon and there's dragons flying around, but I'm not playing that game. Come on, give me the upgraded pistols. No, that's not what I wanted. I'm trying to remember how to get out of here. Uh, follow, take every left that you can, you'll get out eventually. 
you weren't wrong. Hooray. All right, Directly let's go back. Let's go back into town and tell them we got rid of this bandit gang. I like how at the end of like every uh, big encounter area, it's like, here's a letter explaining all the really bad things these people were doing here. Uh, back to kids shows. Uh, Nick Jr. also had this weird live action show that I would watch, which was weird for me because I wasn't really, as a kid, I didn't like live action stuff. Uh, I think it was called Special Delivery. It was like about uh, a shopping mall. Or something like that, and one of the characters is a mannequin that weirdly came to life every now and then. I don't remember this show. I am hazy on the details. Now you're good. If I remembered it, I would say something though. Uh, uh, two shows I fused together in my mind for a while was Franklin and Little Bear. How do you... They're both shows with anthropomorphic animals in them, kind of. And I think the weirdest thing to me was, like, in, like, 2010, seeing a commercial for toothpaste that was, like, Little Bear branded toothpaste, and I'm like, that show hasn't been on the air in years. Are they going for the nostalgia where they're like, hey... You probably got kids now. Remember when you watched the show? Get the toothpaste for your kids. <laughs> like, okay. Look at these crap prices for this crap. Two, two, zero, one. Buy our like, crap. Buying all this, I mean, Picking up all this loot was just kind of a waste. Well, that's something. <clears throat> and expect the world from slim pickings, you know. I don't know where I was getting going at with that. Okay, <clears throat> so we sold our stuff and we got our money converted around a little bit. Uh, let's turn this into the uh, commission's office. Enter City Hall. You left City Hall. You've entered City Hall again. Clerk's office. In you go, birdcage lady. The council has awarded a bonus for your elimination of Norris the Grey. Here's your reward.
clerk shuffles through her papers on the matter of commission that can offer the following. Council is offering a reward for books, maps, tomes, and etc. that provide useful information about Flaw before the fall. A weapon of great power is to be auctioned to our enemies. This auction can be held in Portal Plaza to find out what the weapon is in return. You're summoned by the Bishop of Brachio Tier. Report to him at Tier's Temple. We got an official summons. Hurrah. And we'll deal with that uh, after we go and attack level up. only train clerics here. Do you wish to train? Not enough experience. Sorry, you don't know enough stuff yet. Come back. We only train me. magic users here. Do you wish to train? I can train you in the art of fistic cuffs. Your hands to punch magic into people. Next, we'll become a level 4 magic user. Fuck yes. <laughs> right. Hmm. Ray of Enfeeblement sounds funny. Ed will become a level 2 magic user, who will now learn, um, Charm Person. Now we're going to check with the fighters. See if we can get J a level up. Be nice. Oh god, I, just, I, I mentioned Little Bear and I just went on Twitter and someone retweeted someone who made a post or they said one of the first animated shows I ever remember watching and it's a Little Bear. Hmm. He's just staring at the camera. He knows. Level 4 <laughs> fighter. I did it. Zombie will become a level 3 fighter. He did it. Okay. And I will die by another arrow. Probably. <clears throat> it's like fetch, but you don't take it back. <laughs> I'm fetching it with my skull. We need to get you a little bit more money. Come back I mean, when you were a little mm, richer. Thing is, we have the money, it's just uh, not in money form. Hmm. <laughs> it's uh, in jewelry. But there's a jeweler's shop. 
right down the way. Just said that's basically what people are, who do NFTs are saying. I have money, just not in money. <laughs> yes, but my f my tokens are fungible. Yeah, my jewelry is actually worth something. Two dollars. I'm afraid your tokens will be quite fungible by the time your friends arrive. <laughs> no. I am kind of tired, so I might dip out of here for now, but keep me posted on if my character perma dies. Will do. If that's possible. It's Is possible. it possible to just... Oh, no. Well, let me know. But everyone on the stream, have a good night. Good night, Grant. Good night. Okay, that should take care of the money situation for now. Now we can see if our boys can get some levels. Zombie will be a level 4 thief now. Grunt will be a level 3 thief. so good. Now we just gotta find this bishop that they were telling us to go see. Uh, where is the bishop? Building four. Oh! He's in this sh little shit office right here. You are ushered into the bishop's study. Bishop Brachio Bra 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 speaks. Allow me to introduce Durton, priest of Ilmar. He is bound to recover the temple, which has been desecrated to Bane. Go with him across the river and help him to cleanse the temple. In payment, you may keep the hidden treasures. Will the you accompany hidden him? treasures. <clears throat> no, not right now, my friend. We're still clearing out an area for another dude. Oh yeah, you're a level 4 fighter and a level 4 thief. That's what you missed. Oh. Cool. Wow, why is he got even better? Yeah. You know, I mostly chose Halfling as a joke and Thief slash Fighter just to be different from you. I, I didn't expect to, like, have the best armor in the group. It just kind of worked out that way. <laughs> so we cleared this area out and we cleared this area out. These maps aren't very good at, like, saying, here are the entrances. Okay, so yeah, straight across and around this building. This brings us to... Uh... Hodel 
Plaza. Uh, the plaza ahead is filled with monsters. How will you proceed? Well, last time we were hardy, uh, haughty, we got our asses kicked. I'm going to say sneak remaining unseen. This is where they're, they're auctioning off the weapon. But you know what? I'm I'm gonna back off a minute here. I'm gonna save here in case we do an oopsie. Good idea. We'll disguise ourselves as monsters. a group oh. of orcs. They check out your party. Hold on. Walk on. Oh. You spot a group of goblins. It glare at your party. And demand, who are you? We're gonna reply abusively because we're monsters. They grumble and move on. <laughs> <laughs> the auctioneer cries, Creatures of all ages, welcome to this auction for an item most magical and powerful. The auctioneer is either a wand or a staff. Uh, let's listen to the comments. It's a staff of command. I could have my own army. The bidding escalates to 5,000 gold pieces. High bid from a man in plain clothes next to an ogre. Wait for the winner. A man and an ogre exchange a wand in a large bag and disappear into the crowd. The auction over the monsters grumble and turn away. Oh. Well, shoot. I thought maybe we could, like, apprehend them or approach them. Well, that does take care of this area. I'm not actually happy with how that went. You gonna try again? Uh, I'm gonna return to the city and see if I got what they wanted. They just wanted information. Ah, uh, didn't want the weapon itself. We're also gonna wait here like uh, a few hours. the clerk. Clerk speaks, your success at Portal Plaza is noted. Here's your reward. 200 hey. experience. 
250 gold, 200 platinum. I must bring to your attention the following concerning Valhegan Graveyard. The undead are crossing the river in hordes and killing or carrying off our settlers. Count for the man's these actions be stopped. The generous reward is offered. And... Same thing about books and maps and whatnot. A large group of seas operates out of the old Cold Mansion. The council will pay to have them cleaned out. Find the nomads and stop the joining forces with our enemies. These are all the commissions currently available. Alright. Now we'll go back. And explore that area properly. Without having to worry about the auction. Abandoned shop, broken shell, over all that remain. About a group of goblins. Monsters stand ready. Wait. Advance. Combat. 14 goblins are extra attack. <laughs> what are they uh, changing about Sanctuary Onslaughts, honey? Uh... I didn't have anybody memorize after uh, leveling up. No. Oops. Hello. It's not like this is going to be a problem. Surrender, 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 surrender. Nothing, it seems. This looks fancy. This is a small shrine. Symbol is a bane. Could have replaced those of Ilmater. Uh-oh. Let's do it. A robed orc is sitting here. What do you do? Greetings. The battle begins. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Yep. 
That was easy. <laughs> I can't carry these. A group of goblins. Vents. Vents. Combat. Eleven goblins. Ten. Nine. Eight. Oops. Seven. Six, five, oh, nope, oh, six. Five. <laughs> two done Monster stand ready. Combat. 13 orcs. They're evoking, re reworking Eximus units of Warframe by buffing the fuck out of them, but not considering the ramifications of the sanctuary onslaught. They're getting more health, armor, shield, immunity, crowd control abilities until the new overguard health pool is depleted. I don't know what any of that meant. You know, I'm not actually sure what uh, Sanctuary Onslaught is in, in Warframe. I don't know if it's something I've forgotten about or if it's something I've never even gotten to yet. Rendering. Oh, we're obviously doing better.
Hmm. I guess eventually we'll probably come up against something that'll uh, murder us instantly, but for the oh, time probably. being, we seem to Spider be doing group. okay. Spider group, it works. Wait, wait. I'm gonna have to stand ready. Parlay. Uh, abusively. Ah, we'll let you off this time. Another group of orcs. Hmm. Parlay, aggressively. We'll let you off this time. Uh... Knock. 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 Bash. Pick. Knock. 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 Hmm. Get through this fucking door. This door. <laughs> I will not be stopped. Kitty Warframe. Kitty. Really working out for me here. <laughs> what are you actually trying to accomplish? I'm trying to get through this damn door. Oh. I thought you were doing a puzzle that involved like knocking on certain spots or something. No, it's just a door that I can't get through. I just I have to accept that. What's this way? Ah, this is a textile house, okay. So, the Junior Councilman Cardona is the last heir to the original Cardona family treasure. He had sent an adventurer to ruin remains of his family holdings, but the man had not returned. Cardona hires a party to go to the textile house to find his hired hand and a treasure. And will pay generously for a return of both items. We tried it... seducing the door. Um, not an option. Oh, I thought these games were about living your fantasies. Fantasies don't 
really include doors, but thanks. <laughs> Weirdly interrupted. Oh, ogres. They're way down there. They split up. Yeah, who says the door isn't just a lonely mimic? And who's to say it isn't a behold door? Like from Chrono Cross. got two hit points left. Come on. There we go. experience points 15 gold kind of figured that was the auction done that this would have been safe I guess monsters live here well yeah but that usually doesn't stop us Wow, I didn't even get a few minutes in there. An 11 orcs rush attack. They were gonna get these spells memorized. surrender the ones that lived did should have thought about that first what didn't surrender didn't live long fortunately so again Still, 14 orcs. 
<sighs> I have to leave the whole area and then come back. Or I can just keep doing this till they're all dead. <laughs> Should be enough for surrendering. Yep. We'll just have specs do it. We'll get this rest in. <laughs> Fuck. Six hobgoblins. They're running out of hobgoblins. By the way, Zombie, have you seen what focus rework would be like? Uh, no, I, uh, I basically have absolutely no idea what's going on with Warframe since I last played it, which was a while ago.
surrender, surrender, surrender. Oh, if I can murk this one. I don't care. There we go. <laughs> Please let that be it. Nope. Ah, come on. Jesus. Like, are they climbing over the mountain of bodies in the room to get in here? Uh, I mean, that'd be pretty badass, so, I mean, maybe. Like, in this room are just goblins, orcs, hobgoblins, uh, and a couple of, uh, of giants just, you know, laying around dead, many with arrow wounds. <laughs> Like a meat fort. Last try. All right, I'm leaving the zone. <laughs> Gas is being changed to a sling that needs to charge to go farther. Oh, cool. Well, maybe not cool. <laughs> that seems like it would slow things down quite a bit. this particular popsicle stand. Back to my hideout. Because I have one of those. Which is, I believe, this whole area. S memorize Stinking Cloud Sleep, sleep, sleep. Exit, exit. Yes. Memorize, detect magic, and sleep. Exit, yes. Rest. One, three days. That should give enough time for Iggy to pop back up to life. There he is.
Oh, that's cool. Uh, I forget what school I picked, but I, I've barely done anything with it. Enough to get a couple level ups, but not enough to actually get to a different school. It's whatever school was focused on, like, damage, I think. I'm not very good at Warframe. <laughs> Alright, back in here. Over to the door's crude side saying, the pit. Oh, okay, let's go in. I've entered a crowded tavern. You open the door into a drunk buccaneer. He glares at you. One of you shall pay the price for this insult. Who will it be? What do you do? Uh... Challenge. Me. Oh, one on one? Oh shit. It's a fourth level fighter. We're equally matched. Ow. Ow. I win. Wow. I take his three electrum. And his magic longsword. Oh. Zombie takes his magic longsword and chain. Oh. No. It's Take. longer than I am. Take. Okay. The battle is over. The patrons return to drinking. And they ignore you for the moment. Oh, we'll leave. Uh, Iggy will cast Cure Light Wounds on. Me. That did nothing. So he'll do it again. It's better. I guess. We are overburdened by money. A terrible problem. It actually is, because if we get any inventory, I can't carry it. There's a group of goblins. Here they come. Well, you off this time. Remember, if a monster comes at you, just be mean to it and it'll go away. in the way of any points oh yeah that's right um yeah i i focused into what is it madurai the madurai school and i had a lens on my excalibur but then i like changed frames and i haven't got around to getting another lens so i'm actually not getting any points or i mean i wasn't when i actually played it which was months ago so i don't know
Excuse me. Grunt is at zero AC right now. Hey, Resto Kiki. Hey, Resto. Now he's at two. Is Grunt our archer? Yes. All right. Three, four, nine, oh, no. four divided by six. No, I've actually got some edibles and I'm waiting for the weekend. There. Now we're each carrying about 650 platinum coins each. All nice and even. Now I just gotta go through this stupid shit again. I want to do a weed, but it is uh, not legal in my state, and I don't qualify for a medical card. Uh, yeah, th there's AC, lower is better, and Sacco is a thing. Yes. Good old AD&D rules. First edition. With the good old fashioned green A, D, and D knolls. Which isn't a thing. Except in this game. I don't know why. the textiles plant. Okay. A rare green hyena. Yeah, it's mold. moldy hyena yeah why not i mean that's why uh that's why sloths are green right because they got molded them some oh, so green. <laughs> some Ooh. ghouls decide to add you to their menu yeah.
I was paralyzed. They have a paralyzing touch. That's not great. Well, that's using your own tactics against you. That's not cool. Yeah, only I could do that. <laughs> Wait, those might be undead. Why aren't I turning them? Zero damage. Turn undead. Get out of here. What are you doing in my basement? Get out of here. A ghoul is some form of undead. Uh, I was always under the impression they're either undead or they're like people who eat dead people. I don't know. Or like, oh, they need to eat dead corpses to, to, to live or something. I don't know. Depends on the source material, I guess. Uh, this, they're just gonna be doing this all day. Okay. Zombie cats like right there. I'm coming for you. <laughs> he has no movement whatsoever. It's great. Oh no! Zombie is paralyzed. Oh. And he's dead. I'll bandage you. That's Iggy. Who is definitely not me. Let's let the computer resolve this because we'll be here all day otherwise. Iggy is drained a level. Holy shit. No. No, fuck that oh. noise. Oh. This is, this is, uh. Yeah, that was a thing in old DD. Undead could just fucking drain your levels. How do you feel about being level one again? Fuck. Uh, God damn. Okay, so that's the thing in Angband, but it's like, that's not an issue until like way later in the game, until like the mid game at least, and you have ways to like negate it or 
heal from it. That was that's horrible. <laughs> no, that's bad. Yeah, if alignment were more of a thing in this game, the worst thing that could possibly happen is an alignment change. Ooh. Something over here. Oh, I need a side stream again. All oh, right. Thank you. On the well is a note, thieves only. The well has no rungs or rope, and seems a only a skillful climber could survive the descent. Uh, we're gonna save here, uh, and we're going to go into zombies' inventory. We're gonna <laughs> Make sure I'm not weighed down. Exactly. <laughs> Climb down, zombie. You did it. Welcome to my guild. I am Restall. He bows low. You are Hello. seeking the textile house. We could get you in unseen and possibly help with the treasure. Are you interested? Hmm. I don't know. On one hand, no honor among thieves. They'll probably try to rob us, but if we say no, they'll probably try to kill us. So. Say no. Perhaps we shall meet again. As he points his ring at you, you rise up and down at the well. A ring of well, fuck you, buddy. Well, you can put your clothes back on at least. <laughs> Find a page from a diary and place it in your journal under entry 11. Scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up. Oh. A mangled page of fine, um, uh, bleh, bleh. a mangled page of fine paper with entry is written in a very fine hand. He is livid about the undead coming out of Valhegan graveyard. Three times he has sent assault groups, three times none have returned. He dares not send any of the priests of Bane to clear the graveyard. He assumes that if a priest could wrest control of the undead from their current master, the priest would then become a threat to his power. I suggested if we can neutralize the power that leads the undead, that we could use the undead as a tool. He sought on this and then ordered me to find out who or what is control of Valhegan Graveyard. Preliminary investigation shows that the graveyard is controlled by a being of great power, perhaps a vampire or a demon. I shall expend a few scouts and low-level priests to find out more information. Evil looking frogs boil up from below. Ugh. Blip, blip, blip.
Digimon Survive has the same release date as Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Both of which are series I really haven't gotten into. I hear good things about Xenoblade, just... I have such a backlog of games, I can't justify it. Okay, we got rid of the random murder frogs. What is this, serious Sam? room is dimly lit with I can't see that. You see the chief of the hobgoblins, a huge ogre. As you enter, he rises to his full, ten feet of height. His head wreathed in the flickering shadows. Puny creatures, I loved you to toy with my minions, but now I'll crush the life from your limbs. That's a lot. It's a sizable amount. <laughs> You're blocked by toxic gas. Your arrows aren't, unfortunately. <clears throat> <laughs> Now you're blocked by a wall of your own sleeping comrades. Which grunt will slowly pick off.
Like how perspective just kind of breaks down when you're dealing with uh, two tile all enemies. A little bit, yeah. Everyone there is, well, almost everyone there was pinned down by gas for a sleeping ogre. Just made way down a leader. Takes care of that. What did they got? A slog. A little bit. Uh. Hmm. We found the item we were sent here for. We are going to take it unopened. Because we are not see only one of us, two of us are thieves. <laughs> but this is not a safe place to be right now, right? <sighs> Froggies.
and they're dead. Contra a weedy garbage strewn court courtyard. The drum begins to beat the hobgoblin with attack. Uh oh. Left you entirely surrounded. Uh oh. Beck changes his mind and doubles back. Ready is a sleep spell and hopes it's enough. I'm hitting it. We were destroyed. <laughs> oh. But it's okay because I saved somewhere. You're smarter than I was playing Ultima 7. Well, yeah, that did happen. <laughs> Let's, uh, I just want to see where I did save. Was it before or after that massive battle? Okay, looks like it was before. So, uh, we'll repeat the battle next time we get together for some D&D. &D. But, uh, hey, uh, thanks for hanging out tonight. We're going to call it here. Stand by for the raid. But uh, thanks, everyone, once again, for hanging out with us. It's fun to share the stuff with you. Uh, glad I could. A uh, special thanks to all of our subscribers scrolling on screen right now. Literally could not do what we do without your support. Uh, please consider giving the channel a, f a follow if you haven't already. 
same with our Twitter at Team Retropox, and consider a subscription to our YouTube link down below for all of our past playthroughs. And if you're feeling generous, maybe a subscription to this channel because that definitely helps us out. Uh, right now, our friend. There's a couple people on, but I want to make sure they're actually on this time. Weird, huh? Oh, yeah. The Axo definitely isn't because he just finished whatever he's playing because I see credits rolling. Oops. Uh. Shiro is playing. Ember Knights. That works for me. Uh, we'll be on tomorrow with some sort of multiplayer thingy. We haven't decided yet. Kind of expected that uh, Stellaris game to keep going, so we didn't really plan too far ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had some ideas that kind of fell through. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing. We'll figure it out. But uh, yeah. we'll see you tomorrow. Everybody uh, stay safe out there. Have a good night. We love you. Good night. <laughs>